This year, the theme for the lectures, for Saturday lectures, is beauty in creation. We've studied about various things, the cell, uh, birds in flight. So in July of every year, the annual excavation takes place. Next Monday through Friday, we will have our excavation on the McFall property where we have excavated over the years over 600 dinosaur footprints. Now that's a record, but we're not out for records. Now that's between the McFall property and other adjacent properties on private property. We always excavate on private property. The amazing thing is that among those, we've excavated over 90 human footprints. And that flies in the place face of standard evolutionary interpretation. And that's one reason the museum was built here. The work that I do could be done anywhere in the world. A museum could be built anywhere in the world consistent with the work uh, that I do. But uh, this area was selected because the Dallas Times Herald some years ago on a Saturday evening slash Sunday edition announced that this was the scientific battleground of the nation, Glen Rose. Those of you who followed the creation evolution controversy over a period of time know that Stephen Jay Gould was the universal spokesman for evolutionary theory. And so he came to see the evidence. He brought with him Richard Dawkins. Now Stephen Jay Gould is deceased, but Richard Dawkins is the world's leading evolutionary proponent. Both of those gentlemen had published in the technical literature and had written extensively ridiculing the human and dinosaur contemporaneous claim from Glen Rose. And they had published this. In fact, after this lecture is over, you may want to take time to look at the panel at the back just inside the door. And that panel we have listed the technical areas where these men and others have published the statements. Essentially that if they could prove that man and dinosaur lived contemporaneously, this would totally, their words, blow evolution out of the waters. And it would because it totally destroys the paradigm, the sequence of Primitive life forms developing to higher life forms. By the way, there are no primitive life forms. They're all so incredibly complicated that they cannot be reproduced in the laboratory. They can only be reproduced among their own living systems.